And finally, we can provide an update on the request for expressions of interest process to seek major attractions or destination facilities for two sites within Le Breton Flats. As a reminder, this process launched in December 2021 to enable the NCC to connect with potential proponents who have ideas as well as the financial capacity to bring them to life for one or, more, one or both of the sites identified as locations for destination experiences in the master concept plan. At seven and a half acres combined, these two sites together represent only roughly 10% of the total land area within our plan, or uh, seen differently, 20% of the total areas of lands in the plan that are for development. The request for expressions of interest closed on February 28th, and multiple submissions were received. The submissions were reviewed very carefully with the intent of securing a feasible and successful capital building project. Following the identification of a preferred proponent in April, the project team entered into a negotiation process with them. I'm happy to let you know that the negotiations have successfully concluded in the signing of a memorandum of understanding. Today, we can announce that we've reached an agreement with a consortium led by the Ottawa Senators NHL team, along with the support of these world-class firms. Sterling Project Development, a real estate management and advisory group experienced in working with professional sports teams on sports facilities and mixed-use development. Sterling recently completed UBS Arena, the new home of the New York Islanders NHL franchise. Populous, a global design firm that has designed major sports facilities, such as the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, Videotron Center in Quebec City, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, and the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England. Tipping Point Sports, a boutique sports finance and advisory firm focusing on transformational public-private partnerships for sports-anchored mixed-use developments. And Live Nation, a world-leading entertainment company that produces concerts and festivals. Sorry. Capital Sports Development, Inc. has proposed an NHL hockey arena and events venues surrounded by mixed-use development located on Albert Street between Preston and City Center Avenue. This project is in the very early stages and will be developed further over the coming months, and this image represents an initial concept of what it could look like. Public engagement, as well as municipal and federal approvals processes, will be undertaken to ensure that the project adhere to the master concept plan including targets for sustainability and affordable housing and benefits for the Algonquin Nation and the local community. While CSDI works to elaborate its concept and create an implementation plan, the NCC and CSDI will also work towards a goal of signing a lease agreement for the site by the fall of 2023 with an objective to ensure timely development of this concept. This is just the first step in an incre incredibly exciting and transformational city building project that will become a landmark at Le Breton Flats and in the National Capital Region. We look forward to working with Capital Sports Development to bring this project to life, and we will continue to share information about the status of the project and opportunities for pub public engagement as the project matures. In summary, the Building Le Breton project is showing strong momentum. We are actively working on all three of the early phase parcels indicated on this map, page 106 on our plan if, for anyone who would like to keep score at home. Far from a so-called piecemeal approach, the NCC is carefully but quickly implementing the cohesive and ambitious vision that you approved last April 2021. Our new pathways reopening tomorrow, uh, tw tomorrow afternoon for the weekend after a bit of painting and landscaping touch-ups create great new connections through the site and give access through our future parklands to an area long fenced off to the community. The library parcel transaction closed in April and Dream Le Breton is moving through the municipal approvals process to implement a model carbon neutral inclusive development at Albert and Booth. The flats phase will be offered to the market next week as a new mixed use development opportunity in an, a location that is second to none. And today, of course, we confirmed a memorandum of understanding with the Ottawa Senators to build an innovative arena and entertainment venue, a major destination anchor in the region supporting our plan's vision. 
Not only that, but we are in active discussions with the Algonquin communities in Ontario and Quebec on a benefits agreement to provide a solid foundation for partnership with the Indigenous people of our region. Thank you for your support in building this momentum.